Hi, uh, yes, good evening, YouTube. I have a bunch of these 18650 lithium ion cells that I need to charge, and I'm going to do it using this 18650 cell holder, although you could uh, do it with other options. One option is like magnets and and uh, clipping that onto your power supply. And then I'm going to use my bench power supply here. And just as a setup, I have it set on uh, 4.1 volts. And then uh, to test the, um, or to limit the current, I'll just show you the I have the power supply current limit set around 100, 110 milliamps. And then the open circuit voltage is 4.1 volts. So I have that uh, power run to here. And I can go through these batteries pretty quickly and test them. So I'll show you, um, I found like four different categories. And so I'll try to show you kind of a either real-time or time-lapse. Some of the tests uh, take several minutes, maybe five minutes to complete. And uh, some of them are kind of instant tests, so I'll show you sort of the the uh, four conditions. So the, the four conditions I've found is the battery can be open circuit, it can be a short circuit, it can act like it wants to take a charge it'll go up to maybe one and a half volts and then fall down or you know start dropping off and then the fourth condition is the battery will go up to uh, about three volts on the display there at a tenth of an amp and then at that point I move uh, the battery into my IMAX B6 charger to do a, a proper charge because that brings it above the three volt threshold uh, that the IMAX typically will start charging at. So, and that process takes perhaps two or three hours. But what I want to do is quickly test batteries here, and because I've been finding maybe only a 10, 10% yield of uh, usable batteries of the ones I've tested so far and uh, so you have to go through the 90, 80 or 90 percent that are bad quickly so you don't waste any time on those and then get down to the 10 or 20 percent that are still have some capacity and then do a longer test on those. So I'll, I'll cut over, uh, show you the four different conditions and uh, I think this is a fairly decent test uh, for, uh, you know, quickly weeding out bad cells and then, uh, you know, sifting the good cells out and then doing a, a further a test on those. So I'll show you the four conditions and uh, if you have any comments, you can leave that in the, or questions, leave that in the comment section below. And... If you like this uh, video tip, be sure to rate and share it. Subscribe to the channel for updates. You can check out some of my other videos here. And uh, thanks for watching.